Hi there guys, I just wanted to quickly apologise here to say sorry for how long it took to get this video out. Like I said in the original pre-Q&A video, I did say I wanted this to come out by the beginning of March. Unfortunately, a lot of real life things got in the way, particularly work. But I finally have some free time, so I'm hoping to get this video out by... Fingers crossed it'll be Wednesday when you lot will see this. And I also just wanted to say thank you very much for your support. I'm now currently at over 300 even, so hopefully you guys enjoy all these lovely questions I'm about to answer. Such as... <laughs> the very first question from White. Are you a furry? The answer to that is a flat... No. So I had the lovely, lovely idea of asking my dear friends to ask some questions and to check it out. So throughout this video I'm sure you will all see which ones are real questions and which ones are not so. <laughs> Moving on to the first real question though, from Jazzy Zamp, he or she asks, what do you think about Lucario in Smash Ultimate? Based on your thoughts, what tier would you put him in? So before I can answer that question properly, I think it's important to know the history of Lucario, I guess, in terms of Smash. So in Brawl, I'm pretty sure he was a high tier. He might have even been top 10. In Smash 4, he was also a high tier as well. He had a lot of his tech with wave bouncing, B reverses, and it was more consistent to um, cancel Aura Sphere and Jump Smash Sphere as well. In Smash Ultimate, Lucario is certainly a character. Um, to start on the positives, uh, Lucario generally has the most fun movement, I think, out of all iterations of him. There's just so much stuff you can do, particularly in this game, since you can now cancel Aura Sphere with Jump. Obviously, you can do the B reversing and wave bouncing but you can also cancel the movement on the ground by lightly tapping shield. You can cancel it by when you touch the ground by pressing jump immediately afterwards. Moving with him just feels so good in this game compared to any other sort of Smash game. But I feel like the engine itself doesn't really work to his favour in this game. In Ultimate, so many characters can just take stocks so quickly with really easy kill confirms that it's a real struggle for Lucario to make the most out of his aura. Generally, I would say that he's probably bottom 15, though I do really feel that he can be pushed up to mid-mid tier quite easily. It just, it's just going to take the right to Lucario to actually do that once uh, offline comes back, because online results really don't mean too much with how bad the netcode is in uh, Ultimate. The next question comes from Logan Harrison, asking, What made you want to main Lucario? For me personally, um, so I've always liked Lucario as a Pokemon. He's probably one of my favourites in Gen 4. Not my all-time favourite, that'd be Magnezone, but uh, he's definitely up there. Uh, but in terms of Smash, I just really like how he plays. I kind of like how floaty he is. I like all of the movement tech and options that are available to Lucario compared to the rest of the cast. I honestly, I prefer move. I love movement so much. Movement is like one of the most important things to me when it comes to deciding on a character in any fighting game, not just Smash. And Lucario's probably got the best movement out of all of them, or at least the most tricky. And I really, really like that. Next up from Knight G asking, on a scale of one to ten. How much of a furry are you? I'm just going to immediately uh, just say that I'm not a furry. If I had to pick a number, it would be minus 10. Minus 100. There's just this running gag in the community I'm in where everyone is completely convinced that I'm a furry, which I'm definitely not. <laughs> Sorry if I'm disappointing anyone out there, but uh, that's just how it is. Otherwise, he asks, Nanoblade? If I'm good at editing, he should be seeing it any seconds now, so sure. From Marshmallow, why did you start playing Smash, and do you think you want to take the game more seriously? So the main reason I started playing Smash, it was mostly because I've been playing Smash since I was a kid. I must have been around 7 or 8 years old. I remember picking up Melee for the first time, playing it on that GameCube controller, 
I remember wondering like, why can't I jump? Because I was like pressing the A button on the controller, which is just doing jabs, and I wasn't jumping, and I was just really confused as to why that wasn't the case. <laughs> but no, I've just really always enjoyed Smash since I was a kid. It's always been a is it's always been a huge part of my life, and I would never want it to not be otherwise. As for wanting to take the game more seriously, I do already compete in the UK. I'm hoping to take it more seriously by travelling around more. Starting with the UK, perhaps then moving on to Europe. Um, I was supposed to go to the US um, last year actually, before the big Ron Weasley started uh, destroying everyone. So hopefully Ron Weasley will uh, weasel out of here and we can actually uh, see if that happens or not. Next question from Marcus Berryman, asking, Fursona reveal? So, I don't have a fursuit, and I definitely don't have a persona, that's just more cringe. Combining both of those things would probably be the most scary thing on planet Earth, and we would have to deal with that. That would be like a major like level threat crisis. I will leave that ungodly combination to some other poor schmuck that wants to do it before me. Super Ryan asks, why do you main Lucario? This question is quite similar to Logan Harrison's question earlier, so I'll just reiterate that it's Lucario being one of my favourite Pokemon, along with Lucario having the most fun movement in the entire game compared to everyone else. I should mention, I will um, I will go a bit further though, um, I do love ASC combos, I just find them really stylish and cool. I also have a real big thing for playing characters who are more like low tier and mid tier as well. I don't usually gravitate towards the top tiers or high tiers, I usually always like to pick the worst characters. It's probably just because I like be being the underdog, probably? That's uh, yeah, that's probably it. Rumza asks, do you plan on going to Smash tournaments when the pandemic is over? So yeah, I've been competing now since around uh, 2014? Early 2015 probably, yeah. But no, I've been competing for the last, um, cool, it's been like seven years already. But yeah, um, I've been competing for a while, and when Ron Weasley is done um, causing chaos, I definitely do plan on continuing to go to Smash tournaments when the pandemic's over. What I would like to try and do is get some VODs of me whenever I'm on stream at these events and upload them here so you guys can check it out and see if you can learn something new from me perhaps. Now it's time for the very worst question on here, which goes to We Play Games I think, asking Would you rather I refer to you as Sin or Sin? I'm not going to uh, say those words out loud. I, I would feel really uncomfortable, to be honest. Um, if I had to pick the... Uh, if I really have to pick an answer, it would be the latter. Because I've never heard anyone call anyone the first one. Oh, why are my friends like this? Maybe I should just edit this out. God. Going back to some proper questions again from Taroshki. Asking, do you have any other characters you play? Where are you from? So, starting with characters, um, I play a few characters. Um, I have a Mewtwo. I have a Mewtwo secondary. I've been... Mewtwo was a secondary of mine in Smash 4 as well, so it just kind of carried on over from there. It really helps that they kind of play very similarly, actually. Otherwise, um, I was a Yoshi main in Smash 4. So I do kind of have a pocket Yoshi as well, though I really don't like how he plays in this game compared to Smash 4. Um, I have a few other characters I can play. I can, I can kind of play Rosalina and Luma. Um, I don't play Luigi in Ultimate, but in Melee I have a Luigi main. Um, and that's really about it. I don't play too many characters. Truth be told, I don't enjoy most characters in this game actually. As for where I'm from, I'm from a little country called Wales, which is in the UK. Uh, very small country, we're about 6 million in terms of a population. Maybe 7 million now actually, I'm not too sure. But yeah, we're a very prideful country, that's for sure. I'd better also say this particular phrase as well, or otherwise every Welsh person on the planet will game end me. So here goes, Cymru am Biff. 
Unfortunately, I don't speak too much Welsh. Um, I was taught it in school, and I did have a decent grasp of it for a while, but it's not really a language you speak much of here in South Wales. It's mostly a northern thing. From Adam R asking, I got a handful if that's okay. That's absolutely fine, no issues there. How long have you been competing for, and where do you think you stand in your country? Also, do you have any advice for people looking to get into content creation? Your videos look way too good for someone starting out. Oh, that's not true at all, but thank you, thank you. So, taking it from the top, how long I've been competing for? I mentioned earlier, but since around 2014, 2015. And where do you think you stand in your country? Good question. Um, so, in terms of Wales, I'm not really PR'd at all actually, though I feel like that's mostly because of what's happened with the pandemic. If things were to continue normally, I think I would probably be around top 10. Nowhere top 5, probably somewhere between 7th and 10th, if I had to take a guess. That's me not being humble, but not being um, the opposite of humble either. Well, words are failing me right now, so I can't think of what that is. Um, carrying on. Uh, for advice for content creation, so first things first, get some software which is going to help you bump up the quality of your videos. So get Audacity and uh, use that to record your voice. Then look at some articles on the, net, on the net or some guides on YouTube and just try and fiddle around to find out what settings work best for you. As you can probably tell from this current video to the first one where I've used my voice properly, um, there's been quite a few changes to my voice, for example, and I'm always trying to make it as best as it can possibly be. Otherwise, you'll need to get some good editing software as well. So if you've got money or you don't mind being or if you don't mind surfing the seas, you can get Sony Vegas. Otherwise, um, there, are, there are some good free alternatives out there too. I think Shotcut is available and is free and is what I did use initially. But I also think there's another one called like Lumisoft or Lumicut or something. I'll probably edit the name up here in case I said it wrong, but yeah, start with those two and get to good grips. Otherwise, the very last advice I would give is do it because you enjoy editing, because you enjoy making things. Don't do it with the hopes that you'll get famous or that you're going to earn tons of money from it or anything like that. Nowadays, that's just completely unreal. Instead, think about the skills that you can learn from it instead, you know? Editing is a very important skill which is highly sought after, actually. People earn good money from editing. So just think of it in terms of that way, really. From Inky Salad, I know I'm a little late, but I still would like to ask this question. Who is your secondary slash secondaries in this game? Have a good day, Jovi. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Certainly will. Um, so I've already answered this earlier as well. I'm sorry though. Um, so TLDR, uh, Smash Ultimate Secondary Mewtwo, Smash Ultimate Pocket Yoshi. I can also play Rosalina and Luma, kind of. Uh, probably, probably some others too. And uh, yeah, that's it for Ultimate. And then Melee is Luigi. And Smash 4 is Yoshi. And then finally from Sin asking, how much would you need to get paid to show up to Fair Game in a fursuit? So for context, uh, Fair Game is a monthly tournament series here in the UK based in Bristol. So before I can even begin to describe how much you could not pay me to dress up in a fursuit for Fair Game, I feel like I need to go into a story from a few years ago just so you can understand kind of like how much I would never do this. So back in 2016-ish, 2016 yeah, I went to Comic Con for the very first time. Being the good friend I am, I decided that it would be a brilliant idea to ask my friends at the time. What do you want me to buy? Like, hey, I'm going to Comic Con. We're all nerds. What do you want me to get you on? And the answer I got was this. Body pillows. You, I can't even begin to describe the emotions I felt 
getting that diva body pillow and that uh, I think it was a REM body pillow and bringing it to the girl at the stand at front. I would never usually use the word virgin to describe a powerful emotional feeling I had at the time, but yeah, I felt like an absolute virgin doing that. Dressing up in a fursuit at a fair game where everyone knows me, I can imagine it would be ten times the feeling of what I felt back then. And, you know, that was a life-changing experience. I still feel that to this day. I, I think about that moment. And it doesn't feel good. So, absolutely not. I am never... I cannot be paid to dress up. You cannot put a price tag on me for that. And with that, um, that is pretty much uh, all of the questions I had. Um, this style of video is not something I usually typically do. I'm usually well scripted and well edited, or I try to be. Um, so it's kind of weird just talking from the top like this with absolutely nothing in front of me, no bullet points, nothing like that. But I just did really want to mention once again, thank you so much for your support everyone. It, my growth has been kind of unreal. I was not expecting to get this many at all. Like, at most I ever thought I'd get would be like 200 subscribers at most, but the number just keeps growing. I do have my next video in the making already, kind of. Um, it's going to be more Lucario stuff, obviously, as you can guess. Um, I'm not going to give an exact date on when because my life's just too busy usually. So yeah, but you will de it'll definitely be out soon at some point and look forward to it. And hopefully at some point I can keep to a consistent schedule. But until then, please stick around and just enjoy what comes out of this channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.